Hello, hi, I'm Hermawan. I want to share about how to send WhatsApp using SQL Server. In this case, we can send WhatsApp using store procedure that I will show to you. It's very easy and we can send WhatsApp with easy methods like you make a query SQL. Okay, let's try to know how it works. At the first, you need to write SPWM message and then define the number that you want to send and then write the text that you want to send. Okay, let's see what the result of this. Okay, let's see. I run. Okay, send. You see? Very simple. Okay, I try again. Okay, now I want to try again with multi-line. If you want to uh, send with multi-line, you can follow this uh, example. Write charret and R. Okay. Let's see how it works. You see? Send. Okay, and then I also make a uh, SPW message too, and this have a four parameter. At the at the first number and the second parameter is text, and then the three parameter, third parameter is image, and then the fourth parameter is file. Okay, let me show you how it work. For example, I want to send message from. Uh, website this website we are pro.com and I want to send this image I right click to copy the link okay error <coughs> this is because I forgot the fourth parameter just give a blank yeah uh, double tick and let's see the result see send with image now how if we want to send file for sending file is same method like you send image you just add the URL of the file okay in here we cannot use local path so we need to use URL example I want send this file download API here I copy link and then let me show you at the fourth parameter we set this URL of file and then the third parameter you need to set to blank I change the description I mean the text message okay let's see what the result of this oh yeah if we write the text message it will be the name of file you know so if if we send image it will it will be the caption of image but but for file it will be the name of file so we should uh, give a file name in the text message for example I will give download zip Okay, try again. Okay, this is the result. Download zip. Okay, then this is the second method besides using stop procedure. I also sometimes make a trigger in a table. Example for this, I make a table come with a notif that have a trigger after insert and then it will be sent execute SPW message. Okay, let us try again together so we will know how it works. I try to insert this table, but I don't need this parameter, so I just need only WhatsApp number and text. So I delete this field. 
I copy this <laughs> for more easy. Okay, I just insert this table, and it will automatically send WhatsApp. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot to give this code. Okay, run. You see? Very easy. And for this me same method, you can implement to your need. Example in my company. I also this use this method in my company to send automatically notif when I have uh, already saved the table you can see here example I make a trigger when the table is safe and then it will be automatically sent to this group WhatsApp it also can send with picture also okay so you also can do that in your need in your company maybe okay next and then finally, I will show you how to make SPWA message. At the first, you open wagwaypro.com and then click this download sample API or directly open URL wagwaypro.com slash API. And then you're looking for file SPWA message.txt. Okay, copy this text to your SQL server. But before you execute, yeah, you need to change this my domain, yeah, with your own domain. Then, if you ask how it will be work in your domain, uh, you can download this file. Download API here zip. Okay, download, and this file you cannot upload to your own hosting. But you need to make uh, some modification here. I'll show you. You need to change k dot php, yeah, php. Okay, you need to change this uh, token device ID and device key. And how how I get that token? Yeah, to get that token, you need to register in wagupro dot com, or if you already have account, you just click sign in. And then you make a device at first and then after you create device uh, you can click this button the k icon yeah okay and then just you copy this text user token to this notepad this k php device id also you need to copy from here and then device key also and after that finish it will work like as you want okay that's all uh, I think all is clear hope you all understand and if you still have any question or any doubt you can send what's up to me or you can write at the comment below of this video okay thank you bye bye see ya